Good morning. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank him for he is a good God. He made it that what you are. And he blessed it that what you are. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Matthew 4, from verse 14, 15, 16. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness, have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. We are the people who sat in darkness and they saw a great light. And that great light started shining in our lives. What I'm preaching to you is the light of God, which is Christ Jesus. When you come here, you must see light, not darkness. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is the light you need to go and shine whichever place you go. What is it? I'm Aaron Mush from Tanzania. Yes. From the moment you are there, I was trying to connect with you. I said, oh God, if he comes like this, and I look at this man, but when you came here, you look at these two men and you looked at me and you said, what is it then? I just, just like shocked. And uh, the moment everything was moving there, there's something from this side was arguing with me so strong mm -hmm. that, that what? <laughs> what is happening to the gentleman from Tanzania? Power of God has touched him. What is it? Good morning, church. My name is Sheila from Zimbabwe. Prophet, you are a reservoir. A reservoir of Christ. That tank that you keep lots of water for the whole city or the whole country. That's what you are. Jesus in you. You are a reservoir of Christ. And we want more of Christ. More of Jesus. What is it? What is it? My name is Dekunti. I'm from Australia. <laughs> you are spirit. Luke 24, verse 36, 37, 38, 39. Now as they say these things, Jesus himself <coughs> stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed they had seen a spirit. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Mm -hmm. Behold, my hands and my feet, mm -hmm. that it is I myself. Mm -hmm. Handle, Handle me, me and, and see. see. Uh -huh. For a spirit uh -huh. does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Woman, handle me and see. For a spirit doesn't have flesh. <laughs> so what is happening to the lady? The woman, she touched oh the my flesh gosh. of the oh my God. God. Oh my God, my, my legs is, oh, that is shaking. It's like a, um, something here. Oh, oh my God. My legs is like a electric. What is it? When you touch me, you saw that I'm, I'm not a human being. It's more than a flesh. Yes, no. So what is happening to the lady? She touched the flesh Just of the permit man. Me. Yeah? Just permit me, get to touch. Yeah? Just permit me, please. 
Don't shock me with electric. It just permits me. I feel the flesh, but the electric on me. Okay, stand up. Okay. I'm feeling the electric from here, going all on me. Yes. Yes, the kid. So what is happening to this lady? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what happened to you? My name is Dickens Obiero Diambo. Hey. Now, I, I wanted to, to assist this lady, uh -huh. but she came with fire also on me. <laughs> hey! Now, I had to fall down. <laughs> you don't see that I'm fresh. Yeah, but the other part of you is different. It's different. What is happening to the lady? The moment she looks at the man of God, he's not empty. He has Jesus with him. That eyes were fire. <laughs> that eyes yeah. were fire. Remember, the Holy Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 22, that the lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. This is the light seen in the body of Prophet Samuel Kakande. Please permit me, let me look clear in your eyes. Don't put the fire there. <laughs> okay, come, come and see my eyes. I want to see. Oh, my goodness! My goodness! Oh, oh, oh. oh yo! Electric flexion arrow. Instead of the fire now, that's electric. It's not to joke with. When this woman look into my eyes, she should see light not. Fire to consume what? Whatever darkness in her life. My name is Celso from Mozambique. What the lady was saying, I told even my wife that the prophet is the spirit. The way he see, I cannot believe it. Hand on me and see. Uh, look. Mm. <laughs> what happening to the brother from Mozambique? He's touched by God's power. What's <laughs> what is it, sir? <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah? laughs> I, I, I go a bit far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I go this side. Yeah, far, yeah. Far from you. Yeah, but yeah? I, I cannot control my legs. I, I'm shaking. Say <laughs> amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. <sighs> So what happened, gentlemen? I was unable to control myself. I was trying, but I was shivering. You're a strong man. Prophet, I ask forgiveness to the Holy Spirit. Because even then, my country, I saw prophet in my visions, and I was even doubt. But by the grace of God, my doubt led me to the Christ, to come and see. Because the way that prophet prophesies, it's deep, it's very deep. I won't believe, while I was there in my country, I was wondering how we can see very far. Nine, nine of us somewhere. Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Come, let us go to the seer. For he who is now called a prophet was formerly called a seer. We shall go to the, to the house from the big road, you branch. As you are branching, there you find the house. Yes, it's where I live. It's the main road, and you turn right and left. It's, uh, it's my house. Do I know you? No. Who knows you here? Jesus. God bless your life. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You want to ask me many questions, but your relationship. Wow. 
Amen. This is what is failing you. Yes, man of God, you are, you are absolutely to keep correct. A relationship is very difficult for you. Exactly, I affirm that is true, man of God. My name is Terence Muma. I'm uh, I'm from United States, man of God. I'm a lawyer by profession. Each time I get into a relationship, it doesn't always end well. I got a fiance who've been dating for for the middle of last year, and we're supposed to get married this uh this uh December. We had just an argument concerning where we will live, and she just backed off. My mom tried to plead on her, my auntie, but she just said, no, she said, God has given her a sign that she should break up with me. So whatever she could say, you could see that it is it's pretending. I told the girl she was pretending because she was being very kind, very nice to me. I doubted her honesty, sincerity towards me. But she always feel that maybe I was not good, but my intention, it was because of my past. No peace at home. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, yes. You, in your heart, you want peace. Yes. But you have not found peace. No, no, not at all. I always have, each time I have good intention towards people, they pay me back with negativity. She looks like the lady. She's not the one. <laughs> Go back and see. Yes. This is a good woman. Yes, yes. She looks like the woman I was intending to get married to her back uh, on November. You are a man of God. And something happened 23 years ago. It was a bad experience. It left your heart bitter. How old are you? I'm 33 years. You have never seen love in life. Exactly. That's what is always in my mind. Nobody showed me true love. No, no. You grew up as an orphan. Abandoned. Yes. Not loved. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. So this is the issue. You need love. The children, when they are young, if where they stay, people quarrel. There are things they pick and terrify their lives. Man of God, you are very correct. You saw it with the eyes. Of the, oh God, a human being cannot behave such. Yes. Because they slap and hit you. Yeah. In public, in public. Oh, yes, God. they always beat me very badly when I was young and I still have the memory. They, they beat me. My, my, my father was never in my life, then my uncle raised me. But I was tortured severely. Up to the, they insult me sometimes, they'll call me pastor. My mother's brothers, they always quarrel. I live in Texas, all of them live in Maryland because I don't want to associate myself. Each time I go there, I always get angry. Since that time, you are bitter. Your heart is bitter. I always sometimes cry, and I dislike my mom because of that sometimes. And uh, I'll remind you, the bike man, that day you are going to die. Bike man. Yes, he hit my head on, on, the, on, the, on the glass. Man of God, what, what you're saying is true. I remember that day. I was working as a, a servant in my uncle's shop. So we had a, uh, a disco, uh, an argument. The man took my head, hit my head on the wall. Instead, my uncle came, sided with the man. He beat me that, that night. It was a night. The, the, the man in person was a bike rider. They called them in Uganda, Buddha Buddha, or in, in my country, they say Okada. This is an accurate representation of the business place. This is a long road, 
and this is the, the bar where the cell drained. And the window was somewhere around here. I confirm this is true. So I remember he came and was sitting at the, at the corner yes. of the, the shop. He hit my head on the, on the glass, the glass break. And my uncle was more concerned about how the man should repair his glass, not even care about me. He went after me. Office, give me $2,000 for this boy. <laughs> this is $2,000. You are now going to get money, a lot of money. There is one paper you need to do. I have a law license in Wisconsin, but I want to reside in Texas. So I'm trying to take the board, uh, board of law exam in Texas. I will pass, but I will fail just like eight points. It's having, I've tried several times, but I'm, I'm not passing it. Don't mind, as you wanted to build the school or the place for the orphanage, the institute, the Lord has granted you the authority. Amen. Because you said in your heart that one day I'll help these children who are suffering. Yes, that is true, that is true. People who were like me too, people yes. who never, they were never show love. I always have a dream one day to be a homeless shelter for less privileged people who were treated badly as a child growing up to show them love. And I've always want to, I always have children in Africa that I send the money for school, help them. When I came to America, I was living in a homeless shelter, a homeless shelter. So the pastor of the church helped me, sent me to law school and they donated money for me to go to law school. That's... It is over. The Lord has granted you peace. You will not die early, you take up to 97. Thank you, man of God. Amen. The girl with the files, she has a good heart. Can you show more light on that? She is a little bit short. short. She has a gap here. Yes. Man, man of God, what you're saying is true. She works in a law firm. She has a cap on the tea. Thank you, my God. Slow, 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 you get her. Thank you, my God. My God. My name is Jessica Kitumese from Botswana. <laughs> the tall man didn't find peace. <laughs> the tall man you are talking about, it's true, I confirm the prophecy to be true. I know a tall man who didn't have peace at all. We were engaged to get married. He is my ex. He couldn't find peace. He couldn't all. find peace. He said, woman, what is it? Give me time, please. <laughs> I'm not the type of those you push. No. Give me time. I should take my time, please. Yes, man of God, that is very true. That time I was very young, and I used to feel like he's forcing me to get in a serious relationship with him or even get married to him. So I refused everything. We had a child, I left him. With no reason. <laughs> Why are you wondering? <laughs> My name is Steven. I'm, I'm a pastor. And you know, like uh, when men of God reveals the, the deep things that happen in the life of people, I, I, I ask myself, what, what is it that God can, cannot do? And I realize that there is nothing that God cannot do. It's, 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 too, it's too big. God bless you. Man. So this is what is still troubling you? Yes, sometimes I think about The relationship <laughs> issue is still a trouble. And I believe it is the problem. My marriage is in trouble. My, um, 
No we are peace. fighting everything with my current husband. We are fighting this war every day, week in and out. For years we've been fighting and arguing. I don't even know the source. <laughs> How do I know? Jesus. No, the Lord will solve this issue now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, ah, Father, command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. Go! Reverence is going on for this lady from Botswana. Ah! <laughs> Three girls in the group, and there was a woman, the owner of the saloon. Yes, I remember. Who taught you bad manner? She's being delivered in Jesus' name. Mm, in my body. About a group of three girls who taught me bad manners back in the past. I confirmed the prophecy to be true because. I had those three friends and the other one in, was my best friend and she taught me, she talked me into starting to drink and going to clubs and that happened for a very, very long time and we were best friends with that girl and we only uh, stopped being friends last year. She had us alone. So I confirmed the prophecy to be true. So this is the woman who has spoiled your marriage with the funny ideas that they are taking away your freedom, how can a man order you to sit at home? You, yes, that is true. And you are never at home. Yes, can I was learn, never, I was always out, even at night. And can you day. learn to sit at home as a mother? You don't have children. I do have children. How many? I have three. The first born is the baby that I had with my ex, and he's 15 years old, and he's so depressed, he's not- You see my hand? So, the three. Go and learn to be a good woman. The man loves you, but eh, eh, don't cause trouble. Yes? Don't cause trouble. <laughs> go, go, you are free. My name is John Agua from Johannesburg, South Africa. You're welcome, Johannesburg. <laughs> what I'm asking from you, man of God, is an interpretation of my dream which involves you. I dreamt that I was driving home. At the robot, three people came. They had guns. They took me out of the steering and tied me. And because they had huge sticks, you appeared from nowhere. And you said, in the name of Jesus, they, they ran away, all of them. And then you untied me. You have tried your level best because you have a heart for your people. To start development projects for them. But whenever you start the projects, things became very complicated for you. What you said is true about good art. There are projects which have been starting, but they just vanish, either at the beginning or halfway through. So now you'll be able to continue with whatever projects you have arranged for your people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because God had blessed you and gave you a good heart. Hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. Everything I do shall be blessed. Everything I do shall be blessed. My hands are blessed. Man of God, I can confirm that this drawing represents some of the houses I tried to build for my mother, brothers, and sisters. The one farther away, but not very close, I tried to build it for my sisters. Somehow, she just uh, went to Europe and never came back. 
I would like to confirm the question mark. Mm -hmm. This area of land, I bought it as well. My intention was to build a new house, a completed one, for my mother so that she moves from here and lives here after my father passed away. But I may not be able to, to do it. John 11, verse 40, 41, 42, 43. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. And Jesus said to Kakande, Lose this man from South Africa. Let him go free. Now you are free. Everybody thank, thank will be surprised. You, thank, thank you so much, man of God. Sir, when Jesus say yes, when Jesus say yes, no one can say no. You are free. You are? Go and do your work. You are? Put your hands. You are? Nobody will touch you.